everyone. You know me, I'm Tom. Okay. Thursday afternoon, 4 o'clock, I'm done. Let me just show you the end result, okay? I got a total of uh, 19 and a half hours total. That includes power washing, bleaching it, well, bleaching it, then power washing, fixing the panels, which there were about 20 of them, and then, of course, staining. So let's take a little walk here. Would love to have some nice soft background music, but I don't do that. Hope everybody's doing well today. We've got some afternoon thunderstorms getting ready to pop up. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I just left a message with the uh, owner telling him I'm done. So I'm going to go home and, of course, get out of these clothes, take a shower, put on some, some, some clean clothes, and meet him this afternoon and settle up. There we go. Make the turn. There we go. Now these are a little harder because you gotta, you know, obviously paint inside everything underneath, you know, the two by fours and all that good stuff. But there you go. Nineteen and a half hours from start to finish. And exactly uh seven and a half gallons of uh stain at forty eight dollars a gallon. There we go. Plus, I had to paint this panel over here, or stain, I should say. There we go. Plus, I took the liberty of staining the outside, too. This is what I did last year, so I went ahead and put another coat on it. Now it looks real good. Well, there you go. All right, guys. Staining 101. Not that hard. Just a little time consuming, which is not too bad. Made a good check this week, or I will be making a good check this week once I collect. All right. There we go. Another, another job done and done well. There we go. Okay. Hey guys. All right, finally done. I ruined these clothes. I mean, holy crap. Tennis shoes, pants, shirt. I'm just going to all just throw them in the trash. Looks like it's about ready to rain. Perfect timing. So now go back to the house, shower, grab something to eat, wait for the owner, homeowner's uh, phone call, meet him over here, and uh, settle up and landscape for 12 hours tomorrow. Boy, do I got a lot of grass to cut. I got 14 yards to do. All of them are growing. They're all green. Uh, they just need some TLC from all this rain we've been getting, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining, believe me, I'm not complaining. I'd rather have the grass looking green than it looks like it's dying because there's no water on it. And then I got a couple other special requests I've got to go figure out what to do with it. But the worst case scenario is I got to get back on Richard's house. That's number one. Uh, that's already prepaid. So I got to get busy with those stairs. And other than that, thanks for chiming in on all the videos. Uh, with me uh, taking my bulldozer down to JR's in Mevin, North Carolina. I think the guy's really talented. I know he knows what he's doing. So I think, and us too, he's a country guy, country store. He's not like the city, so the labor hours are going to be a lot cheaper too. So I'm going to save money being there. So that's a good thing too. Have the, the bulldozer with uh, somebody who knows what he's doing and also not pay as much uh, for all these big city slickers. Okay, guys, you know what to do. I'll see you guys on another Handyman video or another adventure somewhere, somewhere in Raleigh. You'll find me. Okay, guys.
Hasta la vista.